there was one group of astronomers who all thought it was around 50, uh, and another group of astronomers who all thought it was around 100. And so there was a big argument running for decades, and these two camps were, were you know, forever at war with one another, coming up with more and more evidence to support theirs and to trash the other camp's ideas as to how they should measure this Hubble constant. It's really, it's a story that sort of goes back to the early years of the 20th century, uh, when astronomers first found out that all the galaxies, or nebulae as they were known then, are all running away from us. Um, and this caused some consternation because it looked like there was some kind of cosmic halitosis that for some reason all these galaxies were running away from our own Milky Way. Um, but subsequently it was realized that this was actually down to the expansion of the entire universe, that everything was running away from us just because the whole place is getting bigger. And this quantity, the Hubble constant, is really a measure of how quickly the universe is getting bigger. So the, the equation is that v, the velocity that the thing's running away from us, is h, the Hubble constant, times d, the distance away. The constant is just a number, and it's unfortunately astronomers measure it in really strange units, because we, really, we usually measure velocities of galaxies, the natural unit to use is kilometers per second, and the distance to galaxies are typically measured in me megaparsecs, millions of parsecs. So the Hubble constant has these weird units of kilometers per second per megaparsec. And in those strange units, it's a number that comes out somewhere around 70. Where's it kept? Is it, is it a number in your head or is it written down? Or like that? I know that might be stupid. That's, that's a really good question because actually until maybe five, ten years ago, there were, we didn't actually know what the value was. And in fact, bizarrely, there were two schools. So I said that the current value, our best estimate, is somewhere around 70. But until five, ten years ago, there was one group of astronomers who all thought it was around 50, uh, and another group of astronomers who all thought it was around 100. And so there was a big argument running for decades, and these two camps were, were you know, forever at war with one another, coming up with more and more evidence to support theirs and to trash the other camp's ideas as to how they should measure this Hubble constant. And now the, the value is pretty well tied down. Um, there is no kind of official sanctioned value that different people use different values. It's just important when you use it that when you write a scientific paper, you say what value of the Hubble constant you actually used so that if other people disagree with you, they can always go back and redo the calculation. The, the Hubble constant is not really a constant. It's a bit of a misnomer to call it a constant because actually it's changing with time. Since it's a measure of how fast the universe is expanding, because there are various forces acting on that expansion, the pull of gravity is trying to slow down the expansion. And then more recently we've discovered this mysterious stuff called dark energy, which is actually making that expansion speed up with time. It means that this constant has actually varied over the lifetime of the universe. And so in order to, to make sure we understand exactly where we are, usually instead of just calling it H, we usually call it H naught. So it's H with a little zero after it, just to say that that's that particular value of the Hubble constant as it is today. It's only within the last five years we've even really measured it now, today, this value of H naught. Um, and trying to measure the Hubble constant as it was in the past or how it's going to be in the future is something that we're really struggling to do. It's probably one of the next great things in astronomy, at least in cosmology and understanding the large scale properties of the universe, is really to see how this Hubble constant has evolved with time and use that to tell us about the properties of the universe, whether it's going to be around forever, whether it's going to expand faster and faster, or whether it will ultimately collapse on itself in a big crunch.